All right, out near White Sands. This is the day after the total solar eclipse that happened in Texas. Now I'm in New Mexico heading back towards Utah because on this trip, I plan to do a little uranium hunting in Utah at one of my favorite places to go to, which is the Lisbon Valley. That's the site of where the Mavita mine is, the one that will contaminate you when you walk inside just from the high radon content. And then there's also the McCormick mine that's in the same area. But I wanted to go a little further down the trail and see if I could find this other uranium mine that's there that might have an open portal to go into. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to see if that's uh, something that can be possible on this trip. And hopefully so. But anyway, I'm in Alamogordo, like I said, near White Sands Missile Range. I'm actually right near the Air Force Base. I think I'm at Holloman Lake. I think that's what it is. Anyway, there's free camping here. It's just open camping, rough camping, um, no bathroom or anything like that. So, should be a nice, uh, quiet sleep, I'm hoping. I mean, the interstate's kind of like over there, so I'll hear like a little bit of traffic, but nothing I haven't been uh, subjected to in the past from sleeping at truck stops and stuff like that. So, should be nice and quiet, I'm hoping. Unless they're like blasting off rockets in the middle of the night here, <laughs> which who knows. I guess that's why they call it an Air Force Base. <laughs> oh, I can see it being really loud here tonight. That's cool though, I love jets. <laughs> of that tonight. Jets flying around should be fun. Oh. Always like exploring new places like this. Like finding places like off the beaten path. Sometimes you meet some nice people here, but I think for the most part, people that come out here just kind of want to be, you know, kind of left alone. But yeah, that's pretty cool. They got jets taken off here. It's another plus for this place as far as I'm concerned. I don't mind noise like that. It's pretty exciting. Actually looking forward to tonight. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Got down to the low 30s, which you don't really think that of the desert, but it does get cold out here. I'm going to pack everything up now and uh, head over to White Sands for a bit and then head to Pistachio Land because that place is awesome. If you're ever down in the Alamogordo area, check it out. And there actually might be some antique shops for me to hit around here too. Let's see if I find anything in there. So yeah, out here at White Sands National Park, used to be called White Sands National Monument. But yeah, it was weird. There wasn't any uh, park employees there to uh, check for national park passes or anything like that when I got in here this morning. So yeah, usually there's someone here. It's just a lot colder than it usually is this time of year. This is the second time in a row that I've come out to New Mexico where it's been much colder than the other previous years that I've been out here. So I think it's just April. April in the desert is going to be unpredictable. But yeah, this is a very cool place. If you've never been, it's a pretty interesting spot to check out. Pretty cool place. 
I want to put some sunscreen on so I don't burn to a crisp and get going. Do a little exploring. I'm just gonna go a little bit into the dunes. Nothing crazy since I'm just by myself here. Last time I came here, I was with my family. We had our dog with us and that was hilarious watching him run around in the sand dunes. He really enjoyed it. I think I even have a little footage of that whole thing, which maybe I'll roll into this video too, since I have it and I've never used it. So this might be a good place to use it. It's kind of how it works with videos. You get stuff and then sometimes you're like, oh, well, I'm not gonna use this right now, but maybe later. Remember, anything I show here that looks like there's any degree of solitude here is a farce. <laughs> there are so many people here. It just looks like I'm hiking on fresh dunes, which is not the case. I mean, there's tons of these dunes are just tracked out. And so if you're looking for like pictures, you really have to kind of go deeper into the dunes and look for fresh dunes. <laughs> that have been like sledded down and walked all over and all kinds of stuff. But usually you don't have to walk out too far because most people stay close to the parking areas. But even with all the people here, it's still a really cool place to explore. And especially if you've never been to sand dunes before, uh, this is kind of a treat because usually you never find them this color. Usually they're the color of sand, which is kind of like a, like a golden brown, like a tan. But this, this is like snow. And so you have to like make sure you put sunscreen like all over your face because the sun just reflects up and can get you pretty good. Just like in the snow. And us Montanans, we know all about snow. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do a little more exploring. I do have my Radicode uh, in my pocket uh, while I'm walking around here to see if I pick up on any radiation anomalies. But right now it's uh, pretty low. So now I haven't found any evidence of fallout here in White Sands, but I know in Alamogordo, some of the people there have complained that they have health effects that's from the first nuclear test, uh, Trinity. Which is just over the mountains over here. And so they're saying that the fallout blew over the mountains into Alamogordo, which I'm sure it did, but they're also trying to attribute um, cancers and other health problems to that exposure 76, 77 years ago. So I don't know if that's really the case. I haven't found any evidence of fallout, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I'm not trying to discount those people's claims, but uh, there is a little bit of reality that has to be accepted that Maybe it has nothing to do with that. Maybe it has to do with the chemical exposure from all the missile tests that go on here and has nothing to do with the first atomic bomb. So it's just something to think about. So now over time, the sand out in white sands can become compressed together with water and pressure and it can form sandstone. Now this is a very early, or you know, this, the sandstone might have been here for a long time, but usually sandstone that is formed under like more pressure and over more time, uh, that sandstone will be much, much harder. This is actually very soft and you can just break it off by hand. And so it's kind of like the early formations of sandstone that you would find in like Utah, in some of the mesa walls and where some of the uranium deposits are. And so it's kind of cool to see this like process taking place out here as well. And I think these like look really cool, like the, how they're kind of like 
shaped by the wind. It's a nice little treat out here. All right, in pistachio land. I'm gonna get some pistachio ice cream, that's for sure. World's largest pistachio. <laughs> Stopped at a couple of antique shops in the Alamogordo area, found some interesting stuff, but not a whole lot else. It wasn't until I got to Colorado that I found something interesting. Ah oh man, this has been my biggest problem so far on this trip, is trying not to spend too much of my time hitting up antique malls. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go inside and check this one out. Looks, uh, looks promising. Well, that antique shop was really cool. They had a bunch of Fiesta Ware stuff in there that I bought. Not all of it, just, you know, some of it. I want to say they were in extremely good condition uh, Fiesta Ware plates that are radioactive because they're glazed with uranium. But they were, like, in mint condition, so I had to get them. Also, the other thing is, too, is that the lady that works here was super nice. We talked a lot about radiation. I explained to her how these uh, plates aren't dangerous and it's a great way to date the stuff. And we also talked about uh, Eurovan because since she's a Colorado native, she actually used to go to Eurovan. And so we talked a little bit about that and about vanadium mining and uranium mining in this area. It was really cool. I love going to antique shops and actually talking to the people there. You find, you, you learn so much about the area from talking with these people. And she was really, really nice. So if you're in, Wherever town I'm at, <laughs> if you're at Village Junction Antiques here in Colorado, just check it out. I'll put the name of the town once I find out what it is. All right, well, that's going to do it for the Alamogordo area and White Sands and the Pistachio Land. <laughs> oh, this is a cool place. I always like visiting this when I can, if I'm ever in the area. And you should, too, if you, if you like pistachios. That pistachio ice cream is pretty phenomenal I now it's the thing I get like all the time when I come here I got it last year got it again this year so it's really good but anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did uh, leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one take it easy